Kristen from PopCultureMadness.com and ConcertBlogger.com. Could you introduce yourself to our site visitors, please? Hi, I'm Ted, playing bass and I'm on a Marth. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Mayhem Festival. How are you enjoying it so far? Oh, we have a great time. It's really it's a great tour to be on, and uh, we have a we have a great crowd. So we're really happy. Absolutely. So, what's one of the craziest things that you've witnessed this summer so far out on the road here? Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of a lot of cool things happening all the time. I mean, it's just uh, just so much stuff, parties every night, and meeting all these great people everywhere. I heard these parties have been like incredible this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's been just crazy. Like last night, there was a big barbecue party with fire. There was like fire eaters and stuff. Yes, <laughs> just cra crazy stuff all the time. So your album, Deceiver, the uh, Deceiver of the Gods, I can talk today, <laughs> is out now. How happy are you with the feedback and the reception that it's been getting? Well, it's, it's been it's just been amazing. I mean, we, we were really happy with the album once we were finished recording it, but the, the response from press and fans has been like overwhelming. You know, we're really happy with with everything. How do you feel that that album maybe defines like your evolution as a band to this point? I don't. I don't know. I just, you don't really think. It's a heavy question. We don't. We don't really think in that. Yeah. In that. In that way, I mean, we just do whatever we we do, and uh, I guess as a as a listener outside the band, you could probably answer that question better. You know, how for us, it's just well, it's 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 us right now. Well, I mean, do you feel it's important to always keep evolving and keep trying new things? Of course, I I, I guess you want to evolve. You know, you don't want to stay in the same footstep. But at the same time, you know. Whatever we do, it's always going to sound Amon Amarth, and, and uh, I mean, we we just we we write the songs we like, kind of song we would like to hear ourselves, you know. So it's it's just uh, it is what what we are right now. I mean, just. So you go through the process of choosing maybe what song is going to be the single or something. Are you ever surprised by one that fans will gravitate towards more than another? Is it ever something that you didn't expect? Well, I mean, on this album especially, it's, it's been very, it was very tricky for us as a band to choose uh, songs, you know, for like first single and video song and things like that. And also now when we're out doing signings and people have like uh, all different kind of favorite songs, you know, it's not like usually you will find one or two songs after a while that are most popular, but this album, it's been very spread out between the songs and I think that's cool because that means there's a lot of good songs you know with different different styles that people like. I love the fact you guys haven't forgot the art of the music video either because I love to see that visual side of things and it just gives a song like a new a new life or a new you know maybe that you didn't picture it that way and I think it's cool because I think a lot of bands forget that when we're stuck in like that singles type of market. Well yeah I mean it's it's been very important for us throughout our whole career to have uh, like it's not only music it's like it's more than music you know it's, it's live shows and and merchandise and lyrics and it's, it's all like comes together in a big uh, it's like art all over from music to everything so I mean we always try to to do visually cool videos in the past and this this is probably the most uh, the biggest thing we've done so far and, and uh, I haven't seen the final result myself either but it's looking really cool so far so it's going to be uh, great. Well, we are like absolutely excited to see this, like no doubt and I just think it's so cool because I love to see that, that artistic and visual side of things. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. So I mean can you talk about some of some of the mythology and, and those elements that go into your songwriting process? Like you know how does that come together? I mean who does the majority of the songwriting when you guys sit down to do that? Well the most of the lyrics or actually all of the lyrics are written by our singer and uh, and I mean does he bounce ideas off of you guys at all? Or? Well most of the time we 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 try if we have something cool we just try to force it onto him <laughs> oh, we're doing this <laughs> but he yeah, I mean he takes care of most of the stuff but like for this album we've done this last couple albums we've been focusing more on one person so it's not like a theme album but we tried to focus a little bit on a special person and, and this time we decided to go with Loki but just because it's 
we we felt it was fitting this album and and uh, so, I mean we do, we just do that and and the rest just comes along whatever. It's cool because I think that that element gives fans like another side of something to learn about, something to relate to, and it's you know I mean it's not to say that all bands it's not like it's more than just like screaming or saying yeah you. Know, well, <laughs> like I mean we other elements. Yeah, but we try to tell try to tell stories you know from from our history because I know a lot of people think it's interesting they have something something new to learn you know and, and yes, I mean they may go back and research the stories and go okay I really want to learn more about this concept or this character or this person and like just some of the the stories and legends and everything are absolutely fascinating <laughs> yeah I mean I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan myself of other mythologies like around the world and history and stuff so yeah, I think it's cool what are some other things you're into? Oh, I mean, Egypt or old Greek or Asian, like Asian cultures. It's, 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 there's so much around the world and South America. You could get lost in it for years and not get to the bottom of any of it. <laughs> there's a never ending source of cool stuff. You know, how is it for you guys touring in the States versus in Europe? I, I mean, I've heard that, like, you know, the s festivals in the States are slowly starting to catch up to the ones in Europe, but we're not quite there yet. <laughs> well, of course, the, the European festivals are usually the bigger ones, but they're, they're, uh, they're just in one place at the time. We don't really have this uh, traveling festival thing you have here, which is a new experience for us. We did uh, another one... Uh, a few years back called Sons of the Underground, but it was a bit smaller, so this, this is a new experience for us, and I, I like this way, it's, it's, a, it's much cooler because you, you get to know the bands much more over here than compared to Europe, you play one festival and then everybody splits up and go to yeah to other other festivals. I, I like this. I like this way. Yeah, everyone compares like the ones like Mayhem here to like a, a summer camp type vibe or something where like everybody's hanging out and you were together for the whole summer, so you would better get used to each other. <laughs> no, but I, I like this way. But I mean, both both things are cool. I mean, it's it's just two different things. Are there any areas of the states that you're looking forward to visiting? I look forward to visit all all places. I mean, it's just, just there's so much cool stuff here in the U.S. I mean, one country, but you have so many different places and cool, uh, cool stuff. So, what goes into putting together your set list each night? Is that difficult process? Well, since we have we have quite short set time, only like 35 minutes, so of course it's not long enough. <laughs> no, that's not long enough. Uh, we would like to play more, but it is what it is, and uh, yeah, and it's it's tough to play because we have to make sure those 35 minutes are just the best stuff we have. So we try to do the best of. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing you guys much more this year and enjoy the rest of Mayhem Festival. <laughs> It'll be awesome. We'll be back, we'll be back soon for a headline, headline uh, tour. Oh my god, we're so excited for that. <laughs> finally, finally play a, a long set again. So will that be like later this year or? Uh, probably early, early next year. Okay, great. Well, we'll definitely be looking forward to it. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>